dating. So I would assume she thinks I'm an insufferable person to date. But you're saying she can sul- she confirmed the sulfur line. What did what did I supposedly lie about? at every moment in time and certainly this one and receive <laughs> what are two all right about being a linguist uh, i i dated this girl while i was working at pizza hut We've already been over this. We we broke up a long time ago. Y'all know this. We broke up a long time ago. Um, so that's not that's not really a thing that she would know about. There's there's already people, other people who have come on here and talked about my life, her, uh, that sort of shit. So that's not that's not a, a, the only way. The only reason she would know about it was from when we were together. And she knew about what I was doing before we were together. But about why you went to prison? What? What What was the why there? I didn't hear her talk about Sulphur. Well, Sulphur's been running around saying that I dated this girl when she was underage. Um, but that's obviously not true. Tom said pan, she said stuff crust, yeah. No, I didn't lie to her about why I went to prison. A- again, she knows she knew my entire fucking family okay she knew my whole fucking family so they all talked to her about this shit too she was around them she talked to them about all of this shit so whatever it is that she thinks i lied about she was around my whole family for three fucking years and talked to them about these things so yeah there's there's just no uh there's no fucking way she could think I lied about any of those things. Being around my fucking family the whole time. her yeah no uh, well unfortunately again my family does know her and my family my sister was just on here last week talking about this shit so yeah i don't don't know what the fuck she said i haven't seen it and i the 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 fact that like there would be an ex-girlfriend who's like motivated to to go say some shit maybe i i have trouble believing that she would say this stuff but i'll look at it sometime and and figure it out and talk to her but i i I, I have no idea what, what she did or didn't say. Like five shocking washing of water taken your entire life safe. This is to be the target of your ire because you feel like or whatever. Uh, I won't be able to, I won't be able to, you know, uh, see my family. I won't be able to talk to my girlfriend again. Uh, Oswald was diff- diff- Did you want to, you don't want to go on camera, you're on your phone. Hang on, let me uh, pop your icon up on the screen quickly. Okay. I can go on camera. Um, that's totally fine. Uh, it's up, um, entirely, entirely up to you. It is not, it is not required. Okay. Um, shoot, let me look in a mirror real quick. Do you talk okay. groups? Jeez, uh, I don't know. I don't, I, I, to be honest, I don't use Discord. 
That is totally and fine. I struggle. I struggle with it sometimes. Um, figuring out how to DM people was, I felt like a total boomer. I was like, are you serious? I can't figure this out. Um, but no, my, my name's Rose. Um, if anybody watches Tom Foolery, um, I'm his ex-girlfriend. We dated for three years between, let's see. 2017 and then we broke up in uh was it 20 was it 2020 yeah 2020 i think is when we broke up all right so just for clarity um i did not seek this person out she uh approached me in dms and i think under one of my videos and you had so to give people just sort of a quick catch up and I apologize for everybody in the audience for even covering this to begin with. But um, we had we, we got briefly involved in a little bit of a spat that other people were having with a former dubious frenemy of the channel, Tom Foolery, um, over him falsely claiming credentials. Not that it matters because nobody believed him in the first place, but claiming to be a linguist, et cetera, et cetera. Claiming that his material was used by professors in universities, getting caught up in a whole lot of contradictions, et cetera, et cetera, when pressed on it. Um, and he has never to this day fessed up to any of it, and apparently everything he has said about his, just sort of summarizing what you told me, everything he has said about his uh, background, about his experience, about his criminal history is incorrect in some way. I have no capacity to verify any of this, just to be clear but I am a little bit curious. So mm -hmm. uh, you can just begin however you like. Um, yeah, I was wondering, <laughs> I was like, I was wondering how is he going to vet me because- like... I'm not, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to make it very clear that I, pending proof of any of your statements, I don't endorse it and I leave it to people's judgment to make a decision themselves. This is pending investigation. Exactly. Got it. Yeah, yeah so um, I met Tom. I'll just kind of go back. So uh, yeah, there were a number of, of uh, crazy things that he said. And actually how I found out about that video, how I even found it in the first place was which, which one video? of my, um, the video that I like left all the comments on. Oh, my video. Like, yeah. Where it was like, Tom can't literally can't stop lying. Oh, the discussion I had with Tom. Okay. Yeah. 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 To the point, even my current boyfriend and I watched the entire video and he was like, Oh my God, I love this Sunday guy. Um, but anyways, I found that video because a friend of mine named Logan yeah. And he and I, he and I were friends at the time that Tom and I had started dating. Logan texted me out of the blue, said he sent me a link, and it was like Tom was on Destiny's stream last night. I was listening to Destiny, and I thought, wait, this guy's voice sounds familiar. Isn't that your ex? And I was like, oh yeah, because I knew when we were dating, like when we first started dating, he would talk about Destiny a lot. And this was in 2017, so he did not have a channel at all. He had never talked about doing that before. But I knew that he listened to Destiny. So when my friend Logan said that, I was like, I'm not surprised. Like, he's always been a Destiny fan. Um, okay. So very, very quickly, just um, yeah. kind of, we can just go kind of down the list of what you mentioned here to me privately. Um, so <clears throat> we'll, we'll go kind of in reverse order, because I think this is... Is this is the uh, is the prison thing before or after the Pizza Hut thing? Before. Before. Okay. So. And his his timeline on the video where he said like two thousand eight that is pretty accurate. Okay. Um, because it was when we first started dating, he was, uh, he had been out for about ten years by that point. So I think that would have been around nine years when we met. So that was pretty accurate. Okay, and you said he seems to be lying about why he went to prison. Yes. Um, he, people keep talking about identity theft and I don't know what, I don't recall. It seems to have, it seems to have bounced between identity theft and recently it's, I, I, I was under the impression it was originally identity theft. I'm pretty sure there are quotes by him saying it was identity theft. And then recently it was debit card theft. Um, actually debit card theft doesn't, that rings a slight bell, but only mm. that's not enough of a bell to go off. Um, for me to say, oh yeah, definitely, because I, I don't know, it sounds vaguely familiar, but what he told me, 
um, was that he was in for um, drug possession and racketeering. Racketeering. Um, racketeering. He um, he told me he would. Uh, his parents, and when he was in high school, they lived in a very, very nice house, like totally upper middle class, really large house. Um, and he would, you know, he got into a bad crowd and um, he would break into the neighbor's homes, um, steal jewelry, and then pawn it for drug money. Oh. Um, so that is what he told me and because after i stopped working at pizza hut i got into real estate i started actually like looking you know i was um oh wait hang on hang on wait 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 what? so you did you meet him while working at pizza hut that's how we met yeah he interviewed me for a uh, delivery driver interesting he okay. was the general manager he was the general manager of a pizza hut yeah okay I know that he said he. I know he said like marketing linguist or linguistic marketer. Linguistic, or... linguistic marketer. Yeah, linguistic marketer. I was right. He was in, he was a fast food manager. <laughs> yeah, he was okay. right, and you could see the shock in his face when you kind of called him out on that video where he was like, "Oh shit, wait, did I say something to make him say that?" Um, yeah, no, he worked at a Pizza Hut and very very briefly at Domino's, but okay. No, he was at now now you you having worked at a Pizza Hut. Uh -huh. uh, did he ever mention that there was a what what could he con is there anything conceivably that he could be referring to when he refers to uh him being sent to a or, or founding i guess i'm a little unclear on this a, a course in linguistic marketing by pizza hutter by do you have do you have any any idea what he could be referring to there or is that just coming out of the air absolutely not um no, I've never, the entire three years we dated, I never, never recall him saying the phrase linguistic marketing. I think I would have laughed in his face if I had heard those words. I, um, no, but, I mean, I'm not really sure if this is what he's talking about. It's almost like he's saying half truths and, but spinning them into a lie. Pizza Hut sent him for a week, um, out of state for like a Pizza Hut University. Pizza Hut University. Yep, it's something that general managers get chosen to go to. Can you tell, um, me, can you tell me about Pizza Hut University? As far as I know, they only send like a small handful of general managers that are running like um, the best stores in the area. I mean, Tom was always a very, very good general manager. He cared a lot about his store and the performance of his store. Um, so he got chosen to go to Pizza Hut University. It was just a one week thing. It was like an all day class. Uh huh. And then they booked the hotel for him and everything. Uh, I don't know what they learned there because I'm, I, I guess they learned like a little bit of background about Pizza Hut, you know, how Pizza Hut started, maybe some leadership skills, maybe, you know, things specific, very specific to Pizza Hut. And, yeah. um, I don't, I have no idea what they're like. Do you think it's do you think it's conceivable that he is uh, a a pizza linguist in some capacity after that week long stint? A pizza linguist. Yeah. Oh God. I don't even, a, I don't a, even know. a pizza linguist, if you will. Like was he? A lingu <laughs> he is very knowledgeable on Pizza Hut. No, I would not say a pizza linguist. I would say a Pizza Hut linguist. That's unfortunate. Tom, I tried. Okay, I'm trying to be fair here. Um. <laughs> all right. Well, that's the end of my questions. You can just go off then i guess i'll ramble go ramble um i do want to address the car thing okay where he said he invented the mobile detailing mobile, thing yeah mobile detailing i don't remember him ever inventing that that was a really silly thing that was the silliest thing i heard um but i do remember he is not lying about the mobile detailing thing he did have his own mobile detailing business because he even he talked about it a lot and um like I said, like he lived next to a really nice area, so people would come and get their, you know, their really nice cars detailed, and he would be really happy about it. Um, and he was always all about Rain-X. He was always putting Rain-X on the car. So, um, and then the, the, the wet vac. I don't know what, yeah, he did have a wet vac. Um, anyways, that's besides the point. But mm -hmm. what other things is he, I mean, what other things is he lied about on that thing it was just the linguist thing the uh law the law um 
where he said he worked a law. Oh, yeah, because he, he, he also said he worked for a law firm. Yes. Yeah. And I do believe it was a closing attorney's office. Okay. If I, like a real estate closing. So it was, a you know, a law firm, but they dealt specifically with real estate closings. If memory serves me correctly, he was not a mortgage consultant. Um, so what was he? Do you know? As far as I knew, he like, he was like, um, basically like an assistant. Like what, or, kind of, like what kind of assistant was he just working the phone or like what was he doing yeah just like making copies answering the phone like more administrative kind of like basic administrative tasks he and it was he was 19 it was um you know he had just gotten his ged he was he was still in the middle you know um that was actually right around the time he was going to prison so he was kind of wrapped up in the middle of stuff regarding that um so did he so, was so he, he was in prison he wasn't just in jail he was in prison yeah he was in prison prison okay. uh, it was two separate occasions but they were back to back um it was like i can't remember what it was it was like one was for like a couple months he got out and then he went back he got arrested like two weeks after he got out and then he went back <clears> for like a year or something okay. um and yeah, he did. Def- he definitely went to prison. He has thousands of prison stories, and his favorite thing to make me was prison food called a big boy. What's a big boy? A big boy is where he would get ramen noodles. He would get the jalapeno Cheetos and some type of pre- uh, some type of pretzel. I don't remember if it was like like some sort of a stuffed pretzel or like a buffalo something kind of pretzel. Um, but he would crush them up, like, he would crush them inside the bags while he's making the ramen. Um, no water in the ramen, I don't think. I don't think there was any water in the ramen. You just put the Cheetos and the pretzels and everything in there and mix it up, and it's, like, very crunchy. You can put it in a, um, tortilla and have, like, a big boy taco. So... (laughs) That, well, that's a big boy. I'm probably butchering it a little bit. I'm probably missing some ingredients, but those are the culinary nuance. I'm I'm just feeling sad now. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's just this is just cringy. Was it good? Was what good? The, the big boy. Oh, the big boy was actually yeah, yeah. Like I would, I the big boy was good. The big boy was good in a way of like I've never thought to even put any of this stuff together i mean it was no like culinary art but it it, you're just mashing up a bunch of stuff that tastes really good by itself and you're just eating it in one bite i mean a lot of the best cooking is just that though to be fair yeah to be fair but well yeah um hmm. can can we wind back a little bit yeah because i think i think my brain kind of shut off for a second while you were while you were explaining it um the the prison convictions i guess can can you like break down what you know uh what I, 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 I know. more clearly if you could um so i know like racket um racketeering is Do you know i don't about? know he, yeah. well i know some of the stuff that he sold okay um and i know some of the stuff that was caught being stolen and then he does have stories of where the cops stole what he stole anyways um okay so he was he was he was selling stolen goods, essentially. Yeah, he was selling stolen goods um, so that he could drive down. Um, yeah. I almost said I almost said what town. So I'm for I had to bleep myself for a second. Just no worries. So I'm not accidentally revealing his location, but um, he would go down and uh, buy drugs with the money that he got from pawning stolen goods, and one of them. Um, I know one was a watch, like a really nice watch. The other was a wedding ring um, that he didn't know at the time, which is no excuse. He shouldn't have broken into the house and stolen the wedding ring anyways. Um, But he didn't know that it was the guy's dead wife's wedding ring, and he pawned it. Um, How old was he at the time? Like 18 or 19. Okay. Pretty young. Um, but just just young enough to be. Was it ever retrieved? The ring? Yeah. No. Okay. Um, and the watch, I believe he said was 
he suspected was stolen by a cop because he said one of the officers that came to question him about a recent, like, or I don't know what they were questioning him about, if it was like a recent break in or what, but he said that they were wearing the watch that he, that he stole. All right. Uh, yeah. And then the other was, uh, just drug possession. So here's a question for you. And uh-huh. you don't need to answer this, but I, I am just a little bit curious. Um, what makes you dislike this guy so much that you're telling me this? Dude, because it's just... <sighs> don't get me wrong. I, I'd have an answer if, if you were to ask me about why I would bring this up myself, having no connection to the guy. But I, I am I am he, curious. He is a frustrating, frustrating person. And he was a very frustrating person to date. I was so frustrated all three years. And then, um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just not to be mean, but he says stupid stuff. And then, I don't know, even if you try to suggest something different, he's very stubborn, difficult to deal with relationship wise. And, and kind of like, why not? Like, why not tell you know, the truth, like, I see my ex-boyfriend saying all this crazy stuff online, and I'm like... That's fair. I wasn't... I why wasn't, wouldn't I, wasn't, I say anything? <laughs> I, wasn't trying, I wasn't trying to attack you. I was actually kind of... Oh, no, I a, didn't I was, feel attacked. I was giving you an opening to see if there was a, a particular point of uh, friction in particular was, that kind of triggered this, but... Oh, no. No. There were, yeah. And there were a lot of little, little things that kind of lined up throughout the relationship that led to its demise, but no. Uh, no offense taken at all. Okay. I'm pretty open. Okay. Um, well, I suppose I suppose if I was so inclined, I could I could dig a little bit more. But I'm I'm. But if you want, if you want to do research, totally fine. Not really. I like the, the guy's just kind of sad. Like what I'm kind of left with here is like I already knew he was pathetic, and I was just like, oh, so the story yeah. that's unveiled is consistent with everything that I I suspected and with everything that's sort of implied. Yeah. Um, is the is the Okay, here's a question for you, because I'm, I'm uh-huh. curious of the timeline on this, but I think it was concurrent with the uh, the Pizza Hut thing, I think it would have to be. He claims uh-huh. that his gender document was uh, taken up by a professor and used in colleges and universities. He since walked that back, obviously you saw the talk I had with him. Yeah. Um, but is that a thing that's only come up recently, or did he talk about that at the time? Because this would have been, I think, when you knew each other. I guess I, that has to be something recent, because <laughs> that makes... Yeah, and that just makes no sense in... The only thing I can even think of it, of him even meeting a college professor and them being like, I don't know, is, I don't know. There's a lot of different types of people that work at Pizza Hut for different reasons. If they're retired and they're just like, I want to make some money, you know, there's a lot of different ways you can meet people. And he did meet a lot of connections at Pizza Hut mm. and he had no, absolutely zero intention of leaving Pizza Hut ever. Like, he was good. Like, he was like, this is my life. I'm good here. Why did, um, he, why did he leave? Honestly, I'm not 100% sure that he did. I, I've heard him say stuff like that on the on the podcast, but oh, do you I think, don't know do you think how... He's, you think he's still working there? Yeah, I don't know how else he's making money. Like, huh. there's no possible way he can make enough from the stream i don't think and god no i don't i don't know what what else he could be doing he was doing pizza hut for over 10 years like with a ged i don't so, know what so, i don't know what to do after that <laughs> so hypothetically because you know you know the location and presumably you, you sort of know the the internal management structure because you work there mm-hmm. um hypothetically it's conceivable that you could put me into contact with someone to uh to verify the linguistic marketing claim directly like, like direct me like an old coworker, or uh i just whoever's above the branch manager oh above the branch manager oh sheesh oh my gosh um i think i could i do oh gosh i'm just I, um, i'm yeah. just this is just for my